this video is going to explain part one, or the introduction, of the coyote study that we're going to do about removing coyotes from a prairie in Texas. The plains of West Texas are part of a semi-arid ecosystem dominated by a mixture of short grass prairies and chaparral. The primary producers in the prairie include various species of grasses and herbaceous flowering plants. The chaparral is dominated by a variety of shrubs, including mesquite and yucca. So these are all shrubs with grasses and forbs. The low-level predators, okay, so these would be the primary consumers, scavengers and herbivores include jackrabbits, cottontails, ground squirrels, and rodents. There are three species of rats and seven species of mice. The mammalian mesopredators, or, or upper-level predators, are badgers, bobcats, skunks, and gray fox. The top-level predator is the coyote, and if you remember, we have a name for that. We call them the apex predator. Sometimes humans like to eliminate coyotes and top-level predators because they have um, effects on farmers, livestock, on pets, on small children. And they even irritate hunters because they can make short work of, of different animals that hunters like to take, such as, um, such as geese or um, pheasant. So let's draw a little picture of what we see up here so that you can better understand what's going on here. Okay. So if we draw these as a, as a pyramid, as we drew the uh, pyramid in our other example, okay. we find at the bottom level, we have grasses and shrubs. Just above those, in the next level, we have rabbits. I believe they were cottontails. We had some jackrabbits. Ground squirrels. We had some um, then rodents like bats and mice. Okay. Above those guys, we had then who eat these guys, we had the badgers. We had bobcats, skunks, and gray fox. And then at the very top of this, of course, we had the coyotes, who are the apex predator of all of those. And there is no predator for coyotes there. So we had down here, we had the producers. We had primary consumers. Secondary consumers. And then at the top, we have the apex predator, or the tertiary consumer. And so what we want to decide here as we look at this study is if those coyotes were eliminated from this area, they have different effects on the community if, as if they were eliminated from a farm or from a city or from a city park. So the effect of removing coyotes varies, depends on where they come from. And so you have three questions that you need to answer. The Nature Conservancy in West Texas would like to determine what's going to happen if we remove those coyotes. So here is your job to answer these questions. What question do you want to answer? 
what is the experimental treatment, and that means what are you going to use to control the predators, how will you get rid of them, and what variables are you going to monitor, what will you look for to see if your idea is working. So this is your preliminary decision about how you're going to do these things. You want to make sure that you leave a control, which means an area that is untreated, an area that you just let the coyotes roam. And this is how will you get rid of them. And what is your question going to be? Those are the things I guess I would expect to have done um, for you before we meet again. And again, if you have questions, please send me an email.